What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be going over how to output information to the browser or the terminal. We're going to be using and going over the echo and print language constructs. Now we've seen how to use the echo construct in previous videos, but we're going to go a little bit more deeper into it. All right, if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification icon so whenever I create new videos, you'll be notified. And as always, Code snippets can be found on my website, pixelweb.com. You can just hover over the code snippet, copy it to your clipboard, and use it within your editor. All right, so in this video, like I mentioned, we're going to go over how to output information to the browser or the terminal using either echo or print, which are commands or language constructs within PHP. They act kind of like functions, but they're really just a language construct. All right, so the first thing I'll do is I'll just copy this code snippet here to my clipboard, and then I'm going to use my code editor. I'll go over here, I'll create a new file, and I'll call it echo print.php. Then I'll close the sidebar, and then I'll just paste in that code snippet. All right, so I'm going to save this now, and then I'll open up my terminal. Okay, so on line one, this stuff you've already seen before, especially if you've already watched some of my other videos. But basically on line one, we're opening up our PHP tag. And on line two, we're using the echo construct to output to the display or browser or the terminal, the string hello world. And instead of BR tags, I'm gonna use new line characters, since we're gonna be using it within our terminal. Okay, so on line three, we're doing the same thing as line two, but instead we're outputting hello and then concatenating or appending the word world in this manner. But you also have to notice that we're putting in a space here, so that way the words will be spaced out. On line four, we're going to output to the display or terminal the result of 10 plus 8. All right, so let's go down to our terminal. Let's type out PHP echo. And since we're in the same folder or directory, I'll use tab completion and then I'll hit enter or return. And you see the result of line number two is hello world. Line number three is also hello world. And then line number four is 18. All right, so that's using echo. We could also, let me go over here. I'm gonna create a variable, assign it the value of hello. And then I'll echo out var. Save that, go down here, and now you see we have hello. Now we also see that 18 is right in front of it because the parser is not putting in a new line and it's keeping everything on the same line. So I'll just comment this out, save that, go back here, then I'll put that again, and it's hello. So using echo, we can output numbers, we can output mathematical equations, we can output variables, strings, etc. We could even output HTML. So let's say we want to go over here, and let's say I want to put an H1 tag. What I'm doing here is I'm first outputting the h1 tag, and then I'm appending or concatenating var, and then I'm appending or concatenating the closing part of the h1 tag. Save that. And since we're going to be in our terminal, you're really not going to be able to see it the way you would see it in a, in a browser. But if we start up a server, so we go here, type out php dash s localhost colon 8080, and then we can click that. It'll open it up within our browser. But we have to go over here to echo print.php. We see that hello is inside of an H1 tag. So that works. All right, let's go back to our editor and let's just uh, control C this out. Now let's go back to our browser. I'll X this one out. Go back here. Now let's skip over this part over here because I'll demonstrate how this works by using the print statement. All right, so I'm going to copy this code snippet here. I'm going to go back to my editor. Then over here, I'll paste it in right there. And I'm just going to comment this out right here. Okay, so what we're doing is we're saving the first, middle, and last name strings into separate variables. So John is in the first name, Michael is in the middle name, and Smith is in the last name. Now we're using the print construct to output to the browser and to the display or terminal. The results of first name concatenate a space, middle name concatenate another space, and concatenate the last name. If you save that, go down here, press up. Actually, no. We want to press up to get the echo print file. 
and you see you have John Michael Smith is outputted to the terminal. Okay, so you might be asking, they both seem to be doing the same thing with echo and print. So why would you use one over the other? Well, echo is a little bit shorter to type out, so that's a plus. Echo is a little bit faster than print, but it's so marginal you're not really going to notice a difference. The real difference is when you're going to be separating multiple strings, let's say with a comma or something, you're going to want to use echo instead of print. So let's see what I mean by that. I'm going to go over here. Matter of fact, let me comment this out here. I'm going to go here on this line. I'll type out echo f name and then let's say comma m name comma l name all right so this is not going to look pretty when we output this to the display it'll be bunched up together but it's to give you the idea of what's taking place let's save this go down here into the terminal hit the up arrow and you see you have john michael smith we could also let's say copy that go to a new line comment that out Let's say we do this instead. John, Michael, Smith. Let's see how that works. As a matter of fact, let's put in some spaces there. Let's go to our terminal, hit the up arrow. And now you see we have John Michael Smith. The commas are not being utilized by the terminal or by the browser. They're just being separated like separate parameters or separate strings. Now let's copy this line. Go to the next line. Comment this one out. Instead of echo, let's type out print. And already you see our editor is telling us that we have an error. If we go down here, we see we have these three errors. Go back to the terminal. If we hit the up arrow, we have the parse error. So that's one of the other differences between echo and print. So that's why most often you're going to see that echo is going to be used versus using print. Other than that, they're pretty similar in terms of how they display text. Like you could display variables in very similar fashions, display numbers in similar fashions, strings, things of that nature. But if you want to use multiple strings separated by commas, you're going to end up using echo instead of print. All right, so this was the basic introduction in how to use echo and print, the language constructs, in order to output information or data to the display, the browser, or the terminal. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification icon. If you have any thoughts, suggestions, or ideas, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy coding. Yeah.